Welcome to Lab Report number 10. I'm BCAP here working from home still and recording this remotely with ENH. If you're new to Foldit, welcome. We do these monthly lab reports to take you behind the scenes and tell you more about the research that we're doing with the Foldit team. Let's start with news. We got some experimental results back. In this experiment, we produced a hundred Foldit design proteins from our coronavirus anti-inflammatory puzzles. And these are proteins that are designed to bind uh, what is called the interleukin receptor. We think that binding to this receptor could be an effective way to treat the cytokine storm that comes with advanced COVID-19 cases. Unfortunately, we saw no successful binders in this experiment. You should check out the blog for a deeper discussion about why we think this might have happened and about why this is not the end of the project. Uh, we'll also talk a little bit more about this at the end of the video. We do hope to get experimental results for the coronavirus spike binders as well, so stay tuned for those. In other news, we released an update this month. Uh, this included some changes to the folded introductory levels, which are now in a branched layout. And we also added some science tips to help explain some protein science for new players. But the big news in this update is a new small molecule tool. The reaction design tool should help you design small molecule ligands that are easier to synthesize and test. Synthesizability is a unique challenge for small molecule design. This is unlike protein design, where the biochemistry involved in making a protein chain is relatively straightforward. In small molecule ligands, we have to consider which chemical reactions are available to the chemist um, so that we can be sure that the molecules you create on the computer can be synthesized and tested in the lab. Check out the blog for more details about the reaction design tool. And that brings us to our puzzle updates. This month, we had puzzles from four different Foldit projects. The first being the small molecule design. To accompany the new reaction design tool, we have launched our first small molecule design puzzle of 2020. The target for this puzzle is a Y1 receptor protein, which is involved in regulating hunger and certain types of stress. If you've been playing Foldit for a while, you might recognize the Y1 receptor from previous Foldit puzzles. A drug that targets the Y1 receptor might be useful for treating certain disorders involved in appetite regulation and also for general obesity and loss of appetite. In our second puzzle update, we have been continuing the coronavirus binder design puzzles. The most recent puzzles have featured the new BUNS objective, which we think will help improve Foldit designs. Again, we are working to add new features and tools to Foldit to help out with these binder design puzzles. In the meantime, we are continuing to challenge you to design more binders so that we can run more experiments. Likewise, for our third puzzle update, now that we have some experimental data about our initial attempts at the IL-6R anti-inflammatory designs, we can continue to work and try to improve those designs for future experiments. And our fourth puzzle update, uh, symmetric puzzles are back. In these symmetric puzzles, we challenge you to design a protein that can assemble with other copies of itself. These puzzles are especially useful for generating large protein complexes or even new protein materials. In theory, these symmetric design puzzles are more likely to work than our binder design because in symmetric design, we have control over both sides of the protein interface where two protein chains come together. From our previous testing of symmetric designs, we think that buns have been a limiting factor. So we are excited to restart our symmetric design puzzles with the new buns objective and hope to get back in the lab as soon as possible so we can start testing the new symmetric designs. Speaking of symmetric design, let's have a look at our design of the month for June 2020. This month we have a first. This is a team design by S.P. Vincent and Bletchley Park from Puzzle 1850 Symmetric Trimer Design. So if we look at this design trimer, we see that it is a nice three helix bundle in the asymmetric unit, and they come together in an... Um, uh, askew fashion, so they're not, um, uh, the, the helices at the interface are not parallel with one another. This is kind of nice because it means that uh, there is some room at the interface for lots of blue hydrophilic residues. Um, so we see that the surface of the monomer has uh, a lot of blue on the outside surface and then a big orange patch where these 
subunits will normally come together. Um, and this is good. This is a, a sticky patch. Um, it might confound folding a little bit, but if these symmetric units come together, then it should, they should bind very tightly. These, these orange exposed residues will be very sticky. Um, and if we look, I think we have a really nice hydrogen bond network here. Let's see. Um, SP Vincent and Bletchley Park have designed a very nice hydrogen bond network here in the, uh, in the center of their, their binding interface. Um, this is nice. These residues are somewhat buried, um, so they can't make uh, they can't make H bonds with water. Um, but that's okay because all of these residues in the network are completely satisfied, and they're able to make hydrogen bonds with each other. These hydrogen bond networks ensure that this protein can only stick to itself in the designed orientation, and this protein won't stick so well to lots of other proteins in the cell. Let's see. I do want to point out um, one issue that we see sometimes in folded designs. Serines and threonines and alpha helices um, can sometimes be designed so that the hydroxyl makes a hydrogen bond with the helix backbone. Um, although there's some evidence that this can occur in nature, it's very rare and unlikely to occur in these uh, cytosolic proteins. If we look at the buns, objective, uh, we can see that the Bunz objective actually flags these as unsatisfied polar groups, um, which is good. So, so if you are playing these new symmetric puzzles, be sure to check the Bunz objective for these kinds of polar atoms that cannot make great hydrogen bonds. Before we go, I want to comment a little more on the IL-6R binder experiment results. Obviously, it's a little disappointing that none of our initial designs successfully bound to the target, but I want to reassure everyone that we should not be too discouraged by this result. These results are actually in line with our current understanding of the problem. Uh, protein binder design is an extremely difficult problem at the forefront of biomedical research. Only in the last few years have expert scientists been able to make any headway in this field. And those scientists are using new tools that we are still working to make available in Foldit. We are impressed that you, as Foldit players, have stepped up to these really hard problems and we appreciate your patience as we work to develop Foldit and add these new tools for binder design. Moving forward, it is good news that other researchers at the IPD have developed some positive binder hits for this target. So we should be able to use their work to help improve Foldit. Thinking ahead, there is plenty of opportunity for Foldit to advance the research in protein binder design. As I said, uh, we are currently running similar experiments for the coronavirus binder designs. Um, look out for results from those experiments soon. That's all we have for this month. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and we'll see you next month.